All right, across beams, across the corners, and not that you really see any of this stuff anyway. All right, so entrance says. Just gonna put a uh, let me pick up the yellow, the orange. Um, I actually don't know what I want to do here. <laughs> do I just like... A little bit of colour? Is that it? And then we need like staircase down here I guess. Uh, we need like paving and roads and all that but... Uh, we need lights at the entrance. Alright, this is kind of basic, isn't it? <laughs> the whole structure is pretty basic. Um, gonna need some. more paving down there. So that's pretty much everything. If, uh, the rest of this is just f uh, copying the roof. Copying what I've already done on the roof to finish it off. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, massive beams on the roof. Gonna need some lighting underneath here. Which... That makes the most sense. Do I need lighting underneath here? Like, kinda no. It's just a little dark. Well, maybe maybe dark is fine. You know what? I'm gonna think about it. Maybe f I'm gonna like finish the roof in my own time, and then we'll and then I'll look at it. All right, back to the roof. What was I doing? This. out to there. That's a little too much.
Oh, I was thinking about um what resources you can automate in Minecraft. And uh The ones that I thought of myself were <laughs> iron, you can build iron golem farms, and hay bales, <laughs> you can have villagers farm wheat for you, and then you craft the wheat into hay bales. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, what blocks? Because you, you, build stuff, you build stuff out of blocks. What blocks can you automate? completely automate. I mean you get iron ingots from, from iron golems, you get wheats from, from farmers. But just crafting those into blocks is very easy. So I thought, well maybe I can just like build a whole world out of <laughs> out of wheat and iron blocks. <laughs> like hay bales and iron. <laughs> Interesting, right? Uh, but there are other options. There's also the option of um, using creepers to blow up cobblestone. Like have a cobblestone generator and then have a, like a creeper farm and then I haven't actually made this work yet. And then like use something to aggro the creepers. I think you can like use flint and steel on the creepers to to, to blow them up. And then like use the creepers to blow up the cobblestone that you generate from the cobblestone generator. And that way you can like generate cobblestone automatically. Um, <laughs> not sure if that actually works. I want to try that out at some point. There are other things too, like gold. You can get a. Uh, you get gold in. You get gold. Uh, gold nuggets from zombie pigment, don't you? Get a zombie pigment farm out in the in the Nether farm gold. So you have iron blocks, gold blocks, hay bales. <laughs> if, if the cobblestone thing can work, then you just have infinite cobblestone without doing any actual work to grind. Theoretically. <laughs> and... Oh, can you use... Can you use dispensers to plant saplings? Because... We can like, like uh, use creepers to blob the trees. <laughs> Get a tree farm. <laughs> it probably like wouldn't really work, I'm not sure if it actually works. Apparently there are things you can do to make creepers blow up. Have like snowmen. Have snowmen hit the hit the creeper with a snowball and then aggro the creeper. I mean, I'm just I haven't tested this. Not sure if it actually works. In terms of things that are not automated but fairly low maintenance or low effort, chorus fruit, chorus plants, chorus fruit, 
it's fairly uh, low effort because the whole thing falls apart by itself once you punch the, the bottom of it. So that's cool. I mean the point isn't necessarily just to automate everything, the point is to minimize the grind, right? Oh... Melons and pumpkins. When you use a piston on a melon, what, what happens? <laughs> because a pumpkin is a block and a melon is a block, right? <laughs> All right, let me. All right, I'm, let me uh, distract myself a little bit. <laughs> In the last few minutes today, let me go. Pumpkin. Melon. All right, a pumpkin and a melon. Piston. Lever. The wiki says that these things drop when you push them with the piston. Oh. Oh. They do! <laughs> you can automatically harvest them! Just put a detector... Observer... You just like, observe... Right? It's like you just observe there... And then make sure you, you, it can't grow in any other, other direction and you just like redstone over it. And then whenever it grows, it just, it just pushes it over, and then you get a free... F oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, okay then. I'm planning ahead to my next uh, survival run, which is when Cliffs and Caves Part 2 comes out. So uh, at the moment, what I'm thinking is, <laughs> I set up a fully automatic pumpkin farm. <laughs> And then I build all my architecture out of pumpkins. <laughs> and then like everything is just gonna be pumpkins. <laughs> pumpkins and melons. Cause like what's what's the what's the fastest? What's like what's the thing that's easiest is to set up? The thing with pumpkins and melons is if you want more materials or like one want to gather materials at a higher speed. You just like make a bigger farm. If you use iron and iron golems, I mean iron is slightly more structural than pumpkins. If you want to be realistic. But um, you have to build multiple iron golem farms if you want to increase production, which you can. The issue is that iron golem farms are actually kind of difficult in bedrock edition significantly more complicated in Bedrock uh, Edition than in Java Edition. And you also need to be like in a fairly close proximity to it for it to spawn. Like if you're not in the area, iron golems don't spawn. So you have to like put it near your base and you kind of have to hang around your base all the time. Whereas uh, pumpkin thing. You can just like have a, have a whole lot of pumpkin plants going at the same time. You have to be a kind of nearby, you have to be close enough that the... Uh, you have to be within the simulation distance. But aside from that, it's no big deal. So, uh, hay bales, pumpkins, melons, oh the other thing is you can trade pumpkins and melons with villagers 
to get emeralds. <laughs> I mean, you can also have like villagers doing the farming for you. Wait, is this right? This is not right. What's going on here? There. Oh no, this is right. No, that's not right. What's going on here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I just did this too early, huh? That it's not there. That's there. And then this is here. You have farmer villagers doing the farming for you, and then you like take what they make and you sell it back to them and just get emeralds. This is basically capitalism. <laughs> basically capitalism 101. You hire people to work for you, pay them with money, and then the money they earn, they use to buy the things that they produce <laughs> using your capital. Using, like, you own the means of production. Guys, all right, let me explain to you Marxism in the last three minutes. <laughs> You are a capitalist, you own the means of production. You rent the means of production to the laborers. They use, or they, they, they pay you, well, they don't pay you. You pay them for their labor, but uh, you get the fruits of their labor because you pay them. And then the fruits of the labor, you, you sell back to them because they needed to survive. And so the money just goes goes around and around and around. <laughs> they do all the work, you get all the money for free. Cool. And we're gonna do that in Minecraft. <laughs> but like I'm not sure that's ethical in the real world, but in Minecraft, they're not real people, so we don't care. Yes. Capitalism. <laughs> Alright, I didn't figure out how to blow up creepers without being there. I guess if you have to, you can just like AFK, let the creeper blow up on you. I don't have to measure, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I don't actually have to measure this, I just need to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, three, four, five. And then cut that. All right, that's one more roof plane. Uh, I should probably end the stream fairly soon. Let me get rid of the, uh, the guides here. amused by the idea of building everything out of pumpkins and melons and hay bales only because that's what's available because that's what's what you can automate them it's gonna be entertaining all right cool so I'm gonna do the rest of this in my own time uh, and when we come back next week we will do other things maybe uh Make the town, make this little village a little bit fancier. 
Um, anyway, we'll, we'll think about what, what to do next week. Alright, cool. See you uh, next week. Oh, this is going to take a long time. <laughs>